Hi Aquarius and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'll be doing your mid-month love readings from now to the ending of October and please keep in mind that these readings will not nor cannot resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply then let it fly. If it does apply then I would love to read your comments down below. And also I want to let you know about the pre-holiday special that I have going on now. Now the way it works is you help me reach a thousand subscribers and you could win a weekly reading for free for one whole entire month of course by me and all you have to do is just subscribe once you subscribe you send me an email uh letting me know that you have subscribed with your name and a good contact number for me to reach you and i will enter your name into the raffle and like that, we'll, once I reach the 1,000, I will contact you. And also, as my current subscribers, I can't leave you guys out neither. What you guys could do, if you guys share my channel with friends and family, and when they subscribe, you send me an email showing proof that they subscribe as well. And you will get your name entered into the raffle as well. But you have to show proof that you are subscribing for my new subscribers and for my current subscribers i need to see proof so like that we could get you entered into the raffle and it starts from today this special starts from today to the to november 1st okay it's from today to november 1st so you guys help me out and i got your back for a whole entire month okay free of charge so let's get this party started now okay aquas now i already shuffled your cards off camera but i'm gonna go right ahead and shuffle them one more time for you guys okay here we go please tell me about aquarius in love from now to the ending of october 2019 please tell me about aquarius in love from now to the ending of October 2019. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of October 2019. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of October 2019. Here we go. Bring this chair in. Please tell me about Aquas in love from now through the end of October 2019. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the end of October 2019. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the end of October 2019. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's two here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please tell me about Aquarius in love. From now, the end of October 2019. Please tell me about. Okay, there we go. Bottom of the deck, eight of eight of wands. So there's going to be some type of communication or traveling. Uh, let's see here. So we have here the three of wands. So there's something you're waiting on. Justice could be a divorce. There was a tower moment. Either there was a tower moment or a tower moment was going to be take place. And the three of cups. So you want to reunite with someone. And last but definitely not least, the Queen of Wands. This is a passionate person. She's ambitious. She's sexy. She got it all. She's bold. You can't tell her shit because she knows what she's doing. Okay? So basically what I'm seeing here, somebody here was waiting. They could have been waiting on divorce. 
a legal separation and there was a tower moment that took place here it probably hasn't taken for some of you guys it hasn't probably hasn't taken place yet but with this tower moment it's showing that somebody now wants to reunite with this queen of wands so you could have been waiting on this queen of wands right here or this queen of wands is waiting on you for you to communicate with them but let's get some more information here. Give me more information on this three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Give me more information on the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Give me more information on this three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Give me more information. Okay, so we got the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody wants to invest, but nobody's communicating. Somebody's holding back. You're not opening up, Aqua. Are we going to go through this again? Hmm? We're going to go through. But then again, you know what? My bad. Let's, let's keep doing the reading. Let's find out what's going on here. Okay, so someone here is waiting on someone else to invest. Basically, you're waiting on someone else to initiate this because you're not doing it. You're, someone is still being, is still holding on, not opening up emotionally or holding back financially. Someone's doing it. And you're waiting on the other person basically to initiate this, to contact you and invest in this relationship. Let's see what's going on with that. Good luck with that. Just saying. Please give me more information on justice. Why is the justice here? Please give me more information on the justice. Why is justice here? Please give me more information on justice. Why is justice here? So we got the Two of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Judgment. How this was? In reverse. So this looks like it could have been a divorce. Yep. There's no movement here with the Knight of Pentacles here. There's no type of movement going on here. And then the justice, with a justice here and a judgment in reverse. This could have been a divorce right here. No second chances, because judgment in reverse is not a second chance. Someone's not being granted a second chance here. So someone could have been getting a divorce or was a legal separation here there's no moving forward with a nine of pentacles in reverse he's already the slowest moving knight out of the deck and now that he's in reverse he ain't going nowhere <laughs> he ain't going nowhere no time soon and even when he's upright he's still taking his sweet ass time to get there and now that he's in reverse he ain't going nowhere so it looks like you could have been, somebody here could have been legally separated. Hmm. Let's find out. This could have been a three-party situation as well. This, it could have been a three-party situation. Or it could have been with somebody's just hurt here. Because we have the three of cups here and then we also have the Excuse me. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Whew. So, we, as I was saying, we had the Three of Cups, we had the Three of Wands, and the Three of Swords in the bottom of the deck. So, this could have been a three party situation here where someone is now getting legally 
separated or divorced because they want to reunite with someone else. They want to reunite with someone else here. So they're taking the steps that they need to be able to be with the other person. But yet they're waiting on the other person to contact them to initiate this. Because they want the other person to invest in a relationship but no communication is going on. There's no communication here. Let's find out about this tower moment here. Give me more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Give me more information on this tower. Give me more information on the tower. Give me more information on the tower. Truth is coming out. We got the Ace of Swords. We got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So the Tower moment is basically, there was no equal give and take here with this Queen. There was no equal give and take here at all. The Tower moment was when someone stopped communicating. Because it looks like you may not be communicating with this person. But with the Ace of Swords, it looks like truth is going to come to you. There's going to be truth and there's going to be communication with this Tower moment. Truth is going to come to you and communication is going to come to you. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And you could be dealing with a Water sign here. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This and Aquarius. You also be dealing with another Aquarius because we have air here. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. We have some fire here. Okay. So, and you can also be dealing with a Libra, with the justice system here. With justice here, not justice system. Just to see, you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, so with this Tower moment, it probably hasn't taken place for some of you guys, but there's going to be communication. There's Somebody's going to be communicating with you, coming to you, telling you the truth, being completely honest with you on the reasons why they things weren't uh, equal give and take and why, why they wasn't as nurturing as you was. Because most likely this person is probably feeling insecure and they're, and they're not able to come towards you. Because I'm sensing, I'm feeling like a little bit of insecurity here with this Queen of, uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see here. Let's find out about the Three of Cups. Please give me more information on the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Please give me more information on this Three of Cups. Please give me more information on the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? So you guys are missing somebody here. We got the Five of Cups. We got the Three of Swords. Somebody's hurt. And then we have... The five of swords. So you're trying to make amends here. You ain't trying to fight with this person. You're not trying to fight with them. You're actually missing this person. There's regret here. I see regret. There's regret. And like I said, three-party situation because the three of swords now came out. It was already, it was at the bottom of the deck and now it came out. It came out for the three of cups. So this was a three-party situation here. This was a three-party situation, and someone now is missing someone else. There's regret and there's guilt here. I'm feeling regret, guilt, and pain. Someone here got ended up getting hurt within the process. We got the Five of Swords here. So there was some type of conflict that took, that ended up happening. So, I'm basically waiting for this, for the, for the Eight of Cups to come out. 
because I'm it looks because so far what I'm getting here is that somebody actually did walk away because there was a three-party situation it looks like someone was either committed already there, was a, there already was in a committed relationship or they was married and they went and got legally separated or got divorced there was no chance in getting a second opportunity because somebody here they wasn't they were holding back and they wasn't investing and there was a tower moment that took place for some of you guys not all of you guys but it took the tower moment and that's where they're realizing that they need to come clean and t tell you the truth about what they was doing you know the whole entire situation why wasn't they opening up to you why they're not opening up to you why they're holding back and why because at one point this could have been a one-sided situation because one person could have been doing all the work it could have seemed like you was doing all the work and the other person wasn't. Now, like I said, um, Aqua, this could be vice versa. It doesn't have to be you. This could always be the other person that's feeling this way. That feels that this could have been a one-sided situation where they was doing all the work and you didn't do anything at all. And you just sat there and didn't do shit. It could be that way or it could be you, Aqua, where you was the one that was doing all the work and you thought that they wasn't doing anything at all. It works both ways. But now, somebody here is missing somebody. Either you're missing them, or they're missing you. And there's regret, there's guilt here, and you guys wanna mend. You guys wanna make things right now. You guys wanna mend this. You wanna make things right, and like I said, I'm feeling a little bit of insecurity coming from this queen of pentacles in reverse where you may not be feeling all that confident to approach this person because you already know that if you approach this person you're gonna have to tell them the truth there's no way around this a conversation of you need to have a conversation with this person this you i mean if you want this to work out that conversation has to take place. That's like a pending conversation. If you want this to actually work out and reunite with this person. That's only if you want to reunite with them, okay? This is not going to apply to those that don't want nothing to do with the other person. If you cannot stand the sight of the other person, if you don't want to hear the voice, the voice makes you sick to your stomach, then it doesn't apply to you. Okay, it only applies to that one person, it applies to that person that actually wants to be with the other person, the other person wants to be with them. But in order for this to work out, they need to have a conversation. A conversation needs to take place here. There's no avoiding this conversation. You have to have a conversation. You're going to have to have this. Because you're going to have to come clean. If you want to make amends, you're going to have to have a conversation, and you being closed off, you're going to have to start learning how to open up. And whoever was the one that was initiating everything, that counselor was initiating everything, is your turn. Whether the cross watcher, or, was it, or whether it was you, Aqua. If it was you, Aqua, that was constantly initiating initiating things, then a cross watcher. Then you guys are the ones that need to initiate this. Don't wait on the Aqua to do it. You guys need to do it because the Aqua feels that they was the one that was doing everything. And this was a one-sided situation. So, you need to be the one to contact them and put the work into it. And if this is an Aquarius, if it was you guys that was doing... That was letting the other person do all the work, initiating initiating everything, let them do all the work while you sat there and did nothing. Then you guys need to be the one to communicate with this person. You be the one that needs to initiate that you want to be in this relationship, that you do want to be with this person because you're missing the person, right? You're missing the person. You want to reunite with them. You're feeling guilty. You want to make amends here and you already know that. You're going to have to come clean. You're going to have to tell the person the truth. There's a conversation that's pending here. And if you want to make it work, you're going to have to have that conversation. And you're going to have to be honest with them. 
point blank and simple. There's no way around it. You're going to have to do it if you want this to work, if you really want it. If not, then call it a day. Whatever. Holler at me. Play a piece out. I mean, simple as that. Tip for that because we got the, the Queen of Wands right here. She's a sexy ass queen and trust and believe she could find somebody else. Just letting you know. If you want her back, you know what you got to do. But let's find out what, what's up with this Queen of Wands. He's getting more information on this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay, too many cards. Please give me more information on the Queen of Wands. Let me add. Okay, please give me more information on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Please give me more information on this Queen of Wands. Please give me more information on this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay. With the Queen of Wands. Somebody, she's she's going to take a leap of faith. We got the fool here. She's going to go right ahead and take a leap of faith. Somebody here is coming, making an offering to her. We got the Knights of Cups. And she's going to take that leap of faith. She's no longer in hangman, in limbo. She's no longer sitting there in limbo. She already knows what she wants. She gained the clarity that she needs. And she's going to take a leap of faith. She's willing to take this leap of faith. So someone's coming in. So this could be either you guys, uh, Aquarius, or this could be the cross watchers that's coming towards you making a love offering. Making an offering to you. And this person is going to go right ahead and take a leap of faith. They are going to do it. They're going to take a leap of faith. So... That's good. And if this is not you, Aquarius, I'm just putting it out there for some of you guys. This could be the queen right now taking a leap of faith for somebody else. Just letting you know. It could happen. Because she is taking a leap of faith right here. Somebody is coming in, making an offering to her. And she is a sexy ass queen, so she's gonna go for it. She ain't got time to be sitting around waiting on you. She ain't got all day. Okay? She's gonna go right ahead and go get hers. Just letting you know. If you're not the one that's taking that leap of faith, or if it's a cross watcher, not the one that's taking that leap of faith. If there's no communication that's going to go take place between you, both you guys, then either you or the cross watcher are going to take that leap of faith with someone else. This could be a new person, either with you or with somebody else. But somebody's going to take a leap of faith. So, if you love this person and you want to be with this person, I suggest you hurry up. Because somebody here... Is going to take a leap of faith. Either with you or without you. Okay? Just letting you know. So, at the bottom of the deck, we had communication. Hopefully you do it. Just letting you know, Aquas. Hopefully you guys do it. Let's get you some love advice readings here. Please give me a love advice reading for Aquarius. Please give me a love advice reading for Aquarius. Miracles out of mistakes. Use your mistakes to inspire and empower you to face brighter, brighter days ahead. That is so true. Look. Look at this. That is so true. Learn from your mistakes. So, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to learn from your mistakes so next time you won't make that same mistake again. Okay? So this is all I have for you guys. So, And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay? 
I will see you again next week. Bye, Aquas.